So that search term there, vitamin C serum, has now leads, so it says shop for vitamin C serum. It also says sponsored here. These are all Google Shopping listings. They're all Google Shopping listings, okay? And it's a Google Shopping feed, what's called a feed, that allows you to place your advert here. However, you cannot run uh, Google Shopping feeds to Amazon products. And the reason for that is, to utilize Google Shopping, you must be able to place a pixel on the website that you're running the traffic to. And because you do not own the Amazon website, I wish you did, we'd be besties for sure, that means that you are unable to place a pixel on the website, which means you are unable to run Google Shopping ads through to an Amazon listing. So you cannot do what you're trying to do. However, it ain't all bad news because you can and should still run Google Ads to your Amazon listing. You should definitely still do that. And um, without going into the whole thing about how to do that, well, let me just, as soon as I've got this up, just get so much volume data and done. So I'm on the Google Keyword Planner. I'm using the paid version, which you don't actually pay for. You just need to have your credit card in Google AdWords, then you get access to this. If I go to get search volume data and trends, let's do uh, vitamin C serum. So that's my product. Now, I want to be very, very targeted. So I'm going to put Amazon. So anybody that searches on Google for vitamin C serum, and you can see here, Amazon is a search term that comes up in the auto suggest, which means a lot of people are searching for it. So vitamin C serum, Amazon, well, I should definitely be running traffic on that search term because the person searching wants vitamin C serum and wants to buy it on Amazon. So I should definitely be running search traffic on that. So let's just have a look at the search volume for that, vitamin C serum, Amazon. So, what, 880 searches per month, which is not huge, but that's basically free money for you because the person who's doing that search wants to buy your product on the platform where you're selling it. You can put your advert right at the very top, right there, and that's a good place for you to be, of course. So that's one way to not really get around it, but to, to use Google to make additional sales for yourself. You can't use Google Shopping. However, you should still use Google to run traffic to your ads. Uh, anything else I want to say about that? You should also as well uh, direct link to your product rather than something else. So a direct link is, let's just cost somebody some money. Let's just click on this. <coughs> So this is the product. I'm directly on the product page. And so if I get rid of all of this extra crap in the search term, I've now left with spiral vegetable strongest, heaviest, gluten-free, DP, oops, and then the ASIN number there. That's the link I'm going to use on my Google AdWords ads as my landing page. So I'm directly linking to the product page. So that's how you would do that, Jeremy. Uh, I know that's quite a little lot of information in a short amount of time, but that's how you go about doing that. That's the best way to, to run Google AdWords traffic. And there's a whole raft of reasons why that's the best way to do it, but that's for another time. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month 
on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.